Welcome back to another video everyone. Today I'm gonna show you how to catch more pets daily, what a pet must absolutely have to be considered good, and then we'll be regenerating some pets to see if I get lucky and get a legendary out of it. The trick that I'm going to show you now to catch more pets daily, it's a bug that's going to be solved the next patch 100%. But till then it's a good way to get more pets daily. So the first step is to have only one Warnut left. The second step is to have your Marsh Legions out. And it's best to send them for pets that are far away. It's easier if you send the locations to one of your friends. Let's take this one for example. It's... Uh, it's not far enough. Let's move them a bit farther and take a look at the next one. Oh, okay. This is it. I'm going to send those two legions to engage. They are one minute away. Now I'm going to look at this one and send the rest of my legions to engage this one. And now they are going. I'm still at 1 out of 5 the moment the uh, legions engage. My warrants will go down. Here is the interesting part. The moment uh, your warrants get to 0 or the negative, you are not able to engage again the pets. So make sure you send strong enough marches to be able to get them in a, a single attempt. Out of all the pets that you catch on the map, not all of them are good. Why? That's pretty simple. Not all of them have a talent skill. Let's take this one for example. It's an epic pet, but it doesn't have any skills. Now let's take a look at this one. A one star talent skill pet. That's absolutely amazing. It took me quite a while to get it. And another hefty amount of rerolls to get it to legendary. Why do I consider a talent skill to be essential for a good pet? Well, that's simple. Common skill can be bought from the shop, but talent skills can't. You only catch the pets with them or you don't. Simple, right? Well, there is a big difference between a zero star talent skill and a one star talent skill, which is mainly the damage factor. It's very rare to catch on the map a one star talent skill pet. It took me around 50 pets to get this one. Can't imagine how happy I was. <laughs> After you get a 1 star talent skill pad, or even 0 star talent skill pad, you can slowly add the skill even as a free to play or low spend. For, before regenerating, I recommend getting a 1 star talent uh, skill pad. It's not worth wasting the regeneration potions on a 0 talent skill pad because it will come at a time that you will capture a one star talent skill and will be sad that you use your regenerations for say zero star talent skill.
Let's move on now to the main course. Regenerating a pet to try and get a legendary. Let's see how much luck I actually have. Oh, that's insane. Oh, this is insane. Okay, I'm trying. I'm going to try and add uh, now a skill. I feel really lucky now. Let's see. Who knows? Let's see where it is. It seems I'm not really lucky and I think I will go with uh, death penetration so yeah I'm not good with this skill. Still I got a really good legendary I'm so happy. Let's try to make the first bear my starter also legendary. I'm feeling really lucky even if my skill failed. Okay, this is a really nice surprise. This is this is really insane. I'm going to take it. Yeah, incredible. Let's see any other pet not worthy. Let's try this lizard. Even if uh, the intelligence is an A, I want a better one. Let's see. I feel really lucky. Nothing good yet. Still feeling good. And look, this is it. This is incredible. I'm going to take it. Thank you everyone for watching. If you want more content of this type, like and subscribe.